So you may have seen this set up uh, in my, uh, my drum covers that I do, okay? And uh, this video, uh, I want to try to do it quickly as possible. It's not too involved, but uh, I want to go over signal flow for, uh, you know, the generic recordings without a, a professional studio setup, uh, without Pro Tools, without a snake, without, um, you know, the layman's ability to... Just for every day guy wants to get going with this, you know, you, you can uh, do a right and left channel out of your module into your phone and record it and then, you know, you can edit it even in your phone if you have that capability or you just, you know, then move it out of your phone into your third party software, your video editing program. So, uh, that that's the purpose of this video. Uh, again, it's for... Somebody that doesn't have a Pro Tools rig, uh, you know, somebody that inability to take out the snare and go to a separate track to get to take the kick drum, the hi hat, and the cymbals. You know, that that's the ideal way to do it. Uh, I just did this as a as a makeshift thing until I can unbox my Pro Tools gear. I have a you know my digital audio workstation. Uh, I, I could go and get a laptop and spend a thousand bucks and get another uh, smaller. Uh, multi-channel digital audio workstation, a DAW, and really put my GoPro up here and uh, really geek out with this. But um, I'm happy with the results so far because I uh, this isn't a permanent spot for this drum kit. Everything else is boxed up until the studio stuff comes out, uh, and you know I have the space secured for that. So I'm figuring, you know, I'm not going to just waste my time breaking shit apart putting it up and setting it up this is just fun for me and i actually i was amazed i get a pretty good result as you can see from uh you know a lot of the videos i put in it's it's uh you know you can edit it through i edit it through sony vegas add a couple compression effects some reverb and you know you can't really separate all the channels that way the way i do it but as you can see my my videos sound pretty good like with with that so that's the that, that's what this video is. All you geeks out there who, who record it with a GoPro and, and track each mic into its separate channel, this isn't for you. This is for people who are looking to start up and get going with an iRig, an iRig 2, right here, this guy right here, an iRig 2, uh, straight into your phone. And straight into your phone means your audio input. So uh, let's go over it and, uh, you know, quickly and how to, how to get up and running and what you need, all right? So signal flow, the first thing, uh, obviously, you know, ever like the hi-hat, it goes into the module. The hi-hat triggers the sound in the module. You all kind of get that. You, you guys aren't done with this. You've already had the kit or you have another kit like a Roland or whatever else brand. Same thing, the cymbal goes into the module. You hit the cymbal, it triggers the sound in the module. Same thing with the snare, the kick. Okay, fine. We all get that. Okay. Now. What you want to do if you don't have a professional setup, like I said, is instead of take, and if your module, most of the modules don't have like separate outs where you can actually do what I just said to a digital audio workstation. This, that's why I like this Alesis because for the price, the module's phenomenal because you can take each one of these instruments directly out and separate them and mix them, okay? But most people aren't gonna do that. So what do they usually do? You mix everything in the box or you get your sound, you get, you know, you test it out and you start jamming and then you mix it right here to get the levels, okay? But that's what you're stuck with, okay? Because all the tracks are mixed together and they come out one and two, okay? And that out is gonna come in here to this uh, iRig, okay? So you're gonna need, you need to get that cable. It's a, it's a mono left and right. And it's, a, and it's a Y cable, and the other end is here. It's a stereo in. And what that does is that stereo in, okay, after you mix it, just to recap, mix it, you get the plug, it basically, it sends that signal out into the iRig right here. And then from there, this guy, this iRig too, you're gonna make sure the effect through is off and you want to turn up the gain all the way or just play with it to your taste. And then what, what happens from there is the output, it's a through, it goes to a, a, a three millimeter jack into your phone. 
and that's it. And then basically you're gonna download that open camera app if you have an Android. So you have an Android, but the thing is you have to go one step and beyond and download that because the, the Android phones don't record external audio. At least I don't know how to do it. So I had to go figure out, okay, so what do I do here? So the, the workaround is downloading that open camera. It's a free app. And from there, you can tell that app, that's the one where you're gonna hit record here and you're gonna record your performances. You can, you can go in there in the settings and say, uh, tell it to pretty much use the external audio coming in from this cable, the source. So you can't do that on the, on the uh, factory video recorder on Android. Now, I have an older Android, I have a S8. Uh, it's fine for me, I don't give a shit about the new ones. Maybe, maybe it's changed since there, put in the comments if it has, but that's the workaround, just download that open camera. So that's really it, okay? I'm gonna go through that one more time try to just fill in some gaps. So once again, stuff you're gonna need, how the signal flow, recap, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna hook up your, your, your module and trigger all your instruments into it. So then you get the mix, okay? And then here's where you go with your headphones. You're gonna be listening and here's the headphones that I use. I just plug it into a, get a little, uh, you know, headphone extension cable. This one's pretty long. It's like, I think uh, six feet or whatever. It's probably overkill. So, uh, you know, that's how you monitor it. And you can go down there and adjust your, your headphone in the mix and you can come in. And uh, uh, the next thing is getting an aux cable. This, this aux cable right here. I'm gonna pull it out. See, you go in there. All right, and what that does is you take it from the aux in. So basically what that does is when you're playing along your drum tracks, whatever source you have, your iPad or your iPod, or like I use a tablet, I log in and I store all my, my drum tracks and you play along. So basically it's gonna send the audio into your module, okay? It's real simple, that's all you do, okay? So now you got the music coming in this guy, okay? You already mixed it, everything's set up, you got your headphones, so you can monitor everything, okay? So you're jamming and blah, blah, blah. Now, now you need to take that sound. Let's walk around back. Now you need to take that sound, okay? You need to take that sound and you need to send it out into your phone in conjunction with that open camera software so you can get a final mix, all right? So anyway, you mix it up, you get your audio coming in, okay? Now you wanna send that out. You wanna send that whole mix out. You wanna send that audio out. Audio's mixed in with your drums, okay? Sounds good, and your headphones are jamming out. Maybe you get one of these guys, you get a couple of those monitors, you, have, you jam out in front of your friends, or drink, and you know, you have parties over here, whatever, that's cool. But now I wanna record it. So I wanna send what I just am playing, a performance into my camera. So then you gotta get that cable. You can get these coming like, I think, three foot, four feet, six feet, you go on Amazon, I got the link in the description. You want, yeah, you want a mono left and right, because Here's your main out, okay? That's what you're gonna use, your main out, left and right, and it, it's a Y cable. It, the other end comes to a stereo audio cable where that goes in the iRig, okay? Follow me? So you take the signal, you're sending it out, it's, it's going in, it's, now I wanna send it out, so you're, this is the way it's, it's bussing out. So you're taking that out, going into the iRig, and then the iRig already has an attachment here with a three millimeter cable. That that is the end that you're gonna go into the phone. Okay, very easy, very easy. Okay, and then from there, you're just gonna hit the record button on the open camera, and that's it, you record your performances. Okay, so you're, you're automatically, you're listening to it through your headphones, you're hearing what's coming out of the source. You're hearing what's being played from the module and you're taking that, bussing it out through the cable to the iRig and from the iRig to your phone, okay? All you do, now I have a Bluetooth with it so I can sit there and just hit record, stop, record, stop, okay? And then, and then, you know, you just come over here and check out your footage and see if you like it. You can erase it and go from there. But then, 
when you get a performance you like, you come over here, you know, and you monitor it, and you check it out. You, you know, you just take this uh, cable out and put in your headphones there if you want to just listen to a playback inside the phone, which you just recorded. So it's pretty easy as far as that goes. This is a layman's easy butt effing way to get going for the average person out there, but that's the signal flow. That's really it. That's the signal flow to record these things. And uh, then what I do, I'll take that uh, footage out of the camera, throw it in my computer, and just import it into Sony Vegas, and I use the internal effects in Sony, Sony, Sony Vegas to, uh, you know, clean it up, spruce it up, fatten the sound, compress it a bit, and add a little reverb. But uh, normally I wouldn't do that because I would get out of my Pro Tools rig and apply more effects and do a little bit better mixing and, you know, maybe have a camera over here, a camera over here. How these, how these cool guys do it that have good studio setups in the space, that's how they do it. It's a little bit more work, it's a little bit more effort, and a lot more goes into it, but this is very simple. Anyway, anybody can uh, you know get up and going with this with this uh, signal flow and this minimal equipment. You're just going to need basically, obviously, the kit. You're going to need the cable, which is in the link in the description. You're going to need to get the iRig, which is a link in the description. And obviously, you're going to need a phone. Okay, and and the open camera that that software, uh, the app, it's it's free, so you don't have to pay anything. So Forget what the total is. It won't even cost you sixty bucks for everything you need. You know, you need you know you need the other stuff. You need a good pair of fucking in ears, and you know, other than that, that is what I wanted to share. Signal flow for dummies, the layman's guy, the 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 guy that's looking to record these drum videos and doesn't want to spend a bunch on on video equipment, uh, editing equipment, you know digital audio workstation doesn't have the money to to invest in a in a in a pro tools rig like that and uh doesn't have the space so that's how it's done now once i get my uh other stuff uh set up eventually in my own space and everything and uh we move and stuff i'll go over a little bit more advanced techniques to to really get these things popping and you can edit them and they look great and you get multi-angle shots but this is uh you can have fun with this right off the bat if you have the time space and you just get those uh couple things that again you can you can impress your friends you can you know maybe have a cool reel or uh start promoting your youtube channel but anyway hope you guys enjoyed it give me a thumbs up like the video hit the bell and stay negative.